Hi everybody, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative. I'm playing around today with more layering stencils. This time I'm going to be using the Folk Art A2 stencil set as well as the Coordinating Folk Art A2 cover plate die and the new brocade stencil. So lots of new products from the summer release going into this card. The Folk Art A2 stencils are layered or uh, numbered one, two, and three, so you can layer these up, and use them alone, or they will coordinate with the Folk Art A2 cover plate die. So here is my favorite and easiest way, I think, to use layering stencils. I like to start with a piece of cardstock that is larger than what I need for my piece so I can trim it down to be the correct size. And then I tape that into my stamping platform right into the bottom left hand corner. Then I start with my first stencil and I butt that also right down into that bottom left hand corner. And then I put on my first color of ink. So I'm using LDRS Creative blending brushes and my first color of ink here is Tangerine Dream. I'm going to peel off that stencil and then pop in my second layering stencil. Again, making sure that that is down in the bottom left-hand corner. That way, I don't have to do any guesswork about layering these up and making sure that they're in the right spot. As long as I keep um, my stencils butted right down in that bottom left-hand corner, I know they're going to layer up just fine. So my second color of ink here is Lantern Yellow. It's a bright yellow hybrid ink. I love this color. I think it's really pretty. And I'm going for a color palette that I've been trending towards a lot lately. I'm going to be doing yellow, orange, and pink. So once I'm done with that second layer stencil, I'm just going to peel that off. And then I'll pop into place the third and final stencil for the Folk Art A2 stencil set. Again, putting that right down into the bottom left-hand corner and just adding some tape to hold that in place. And then I'm going to grab my last color of ink, and this time it's Soft Kisses. It's a light pink ink using my LDRS Creative Blending Brush, and I'm just going to cover up that whole um, last layered stencil with the Soft Kisses ink. And when I peel off the tape and reveal to you the final product, you're gonna see just how pretty all these stencils are all layered up together. I really think it's fun and easy and a great way to add color. And you really can't get any easier than just three stencils together. You can do some fancy masking and have a lot of different colors in one background, but I decided to go simple and just add one color over each stencil. Okay, so now I want to show you how the Folk Art A2 cover plate die works along with these stencils. So I die cut this from some white cardstock, and I'm going to show you here in a minute there are little pieces in this die that cut out. So like these little leaves here, you can take this little... I guess you could call it a frame piece. If you die cut this from some black cardstock or maybe gray or pink or something, you can add a little outline. And so don't throw away these pieces. You can definitely use them and piece them together. Or you can do what I'm doing and just lay that cover plate die right over your stenciling and you have an easily stenciled background. No fancy coloring or anything, just stenciling. I wanted to bring in just a little bit more detail, so I placed the brocade stencil over my Folk Art A2 cover plate die cut piece, and I'm going to use some LDRS Creative Alloy ink and just ink blend over this Folk Art A2 cover die. And that's going to give me just a little bit of subtlety and a little extra texture in the background. So now I have this added pattern. And when I pop that colored piece behind it, I think it just brings a little bit more interest. All I need left now to do is to add a sentiment. So I'm going to use the Snapdragon stamp set from the last LDRS Creative release. And I'm inking this up right now with the alloy ink. I thought that I would use an ink that would coordinate with the background, but it actually ended up coordinating a little bit too well. And it... um. It blended in. So I went back and I stamped that again with Raven Hybrid Ink, and I also stamped a coordinating little sentiment that says Sweet Friend from the Snapdragon stamp set. I've already glued my Folk Art A2 cover plate die cut on top of my Folk Art A2 stenciled piece, 
I'm going to add that hello and coordinating sentiment strip and then add some glossy black gems to finish off this card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this easy tutorial. I have listed and linked all of the LDRS creative products that I used in this video below in the video description. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.